people and welcome to Mickey Art. My name is Michelle Edhouse and today I'm having a bit of a play. Now there's a, a lot of interesting things going on here. <laughs> First of all this canvas is an old canvas that um, my son did a painting on uh, about five years ago at school. He doesn't want it anymore. So what I've done is I've cut the painting off and put that into his uh, memories box. And um, then I have recovered it with a sheet from a pad of um, canvas sheets. They come pre-gessoed. I have dirty fingers when I was doing it, so it's got a little bit dirty, but that's okay. And then I've got my pins under... I've got my pins underneath like normal but what I have done different here is as you can see I've put a tape border around the top edge now somebody mentioned in a comment um, can you tape around the edges and um, you know to keep the paint on the canvas for longer before it disappears over the side and that got me thinking. Well, they do it for a reason. Why not for paint? So here we go. <laughs> um, I, what I just realised is I haven't done. This is the end that sticks out, and what I think is probably going to be a good idea is to make a tab to pull, so I can grab and pull with ease. Um, so that's the canvas. So the paints we're using, we are using the Deco Art Americana that they gifted me in the trial pack. Um, and we've got the primary blue, which is there. And then I've mixed the green and the blue together to make this teal colour which I really like really really like kind of reminds me a bit of um, Viridian Hue actually if you get the Reeves Viridian Hue that's quite similar I quite like it it's about two thirds green one third blue if you want to try and make it then <laughs> this one is that same colour but with white added which is a really nice kind of turquoise blue. Then I've got the Renault Art Gold, which is a bit thicker than the others, I think. But that's okay. Um, and then just the white from Americana as well. So I'm getting a bit low on that blue because I really like that blue. <laughs> it reminds me of uh, Thalo Blue. In a lot of ways anyway so what am I going to do with this with this magical mystery composition um, well what I'm gonna do is make a long lot of crashing and banging noises I've got my cup that bends really nicely this one has been used over and over and over and over again so if you're ever concerned about throwing away plastic cups go and find some of these they're not the cheap throwaway ones but they are super super usable so what's the plan Stan? <laughs> the plan for this one my dear friends is to do a spiral pour I've just realized I don't have silicon in any of those and I do want to have some, if I can find my silicon. Where is it? Found it. Um, so the silicon that I use most often is this dimethicone, which is 
actually a personal lubricant. Um, Durex Play Perfect Glide, and it's in the pink and black bottle, not the green bottle. The green bottle's got all sorts of natural, good for your skinny type things. Um, which, personally, if I was using a personal lubricant, I would probably prefer that option. But this one is 100% dimethicone, which is great for painting. So, um, there you go. So, I'm going to layer this into the cup and see what we can create. I'm going to start out with the white um, and then go for a bit of gold. And then the light turquoise. Is that a bubble or is that a lump about to swim over the edge? And then some more gold. And then the darker. Really does look like Viridian Hue. If ever you want to make a Viridian Hue and you've got Americana. Um, blue and festive green. You've got the makings of it, I reckon. And then we're going to go with the dark blue. Ah! And I'm going to put some dark blue in the edge, in the corners, because that's going to be the first one to get out there. Um, and then I'm also going to start our pour off with that. So here we go. It's see what we can do Awesome. Okay. Well, we've definitely got some cells. Let's invite them to come up and get rid of some of those air bubbles. Okay. Hello. There we go. Went to Bunnings today and got a refill on my <laughs> giant torch. <laughs> I'd forgotten how to use this. There, there we go. There's my giant torch. It's huge. The canisters are only five dollars. How's it getting any better than that? Check this out, guys. Look at all those cells. Loving it. Love, loving it. Right. So, because we've got the really cool thing of having 
the edges protected, we can be a little bit more movable on our stretching. Oh, I like that gold. I like gold of the sea. How about you and me? Fill it all up and then bring it back to the center. Now, this is, if you know me, a lot runnier than my normal paintings. But all right, what are we going to end up with, guys? I just I'm not loving these. Oh, yes, zoomed out. Sorry, I forgot to zoom you back out again. All right, we've got very, very dark corners which I'm not loving um, just gonna pull some of the green okay let's let this out shall we So we know we've got the whole thing covered. That's the cool part now. And we know that we've settled it back. So let's see what gets created. Just letting it run down the sides where it wants to, to start with. While I clean the large chunks of paint off my fingers and just going to pop it out at the corners Get some of that large amount of blue off. It's not staying very spirally, is it? <laughs> That's okay. I don't want to lose all my gold off the sides. This is the problem. And that's what's going to happen down this side here. So we're going to lose some of that gold. So I'm just going to let just a small amount run over. And then let it dribble. Okay. Okay. 
this isn't leaking out quite how I wanted it to. What's right about this I'm not getting? So what I'm doing now is just picking up a little bit of paint off the canvas. And if you pick it up from roughly where you're going to tap it on, you're going to get similar colours. And if I start from the bottom and tap up, then it fills in. And then when you touch where it is actually um, ugh, gloves are a bit runny um, when you touch where the paint has reached to it becomes a bit of a, a joining of the hands and invites them to merge together All right and turn it around so they can see what's happening on the other side okay so once again my corners have not I do like the painting as it is it just isn't <laughs> quite the spiral pour I was imagining um, I really like this turquoise I would have liked a little bit more of the gold to have stayed um, in the painting. She's as she's goes to tip more of it off I'm actually trying to get some of that blue corner off there we go and bring that back in I'm seeing a couple of lumps so I'm gonna that's my next stop is to get rid of those lumps and before I do that I'm gonna get rid of these very very painted gloves okay so to get lumps out I just use two push pins and I go on either side and try and pick that lump up just like that now there was another lump I saw was that you there Got it. That one wasn't quite so big. Okay. So, next, let's just tilt you a little bit. I'm going to go back over it, but with my small heat gun, just popping any air bubbles. There might be some silicon still under there, but I doubt there's much if there is. Most of what we're going to see is just air bubbles popping. No, no, that one, that 
there was a bit of silicon coming up. All right. I really like it. It's cool. It's very subtle. Um, I like it. I like it a lot. Keep moving it out of your shot though, sorry. There we go. So we've got a lot of gold threaded through here. There's little bits of it through in here, but mostly through here. Anything that looks yellow is gold. <laughs> um, so I really like it. And I'm looking forward to seeing what it does when it's dry. Okay, so here it is all finished and well, all dry. It's not been sealed or anything, but um, it's finished. Uh, really like it. I really really like it the subtlety of the cells inside this blue pit here just really kind of I don't know and then the gold wow it's actually shining in this light I'm seriously thinking of changing my gold it's it just doesn't pop so if anyone's got any recommendations of a really good pop gold that pops it doesn't sink too much let me know um, there's a couple of little blemishes in the paint here uh, they they just look like there was something like a little little bit of unstirred paint or something that's dried in under there there we go so it doesn't affect the pic picture at all it's quite in keeping it doesn't it's not intrusive and once it's been sealed it'll be lovely so i really like this piece it's beautiful um it's really relaxing so if you want to put dibs on it before it goes up into the shop, let me know. You can contact me through mickeyart.com. If you want to know when my paintings go up for sale or when I'm going live, then sign up on mickeyart.com forward slash sign up and I will be emailing notifications out through that. And if you want to come and have some fun on Facebook with us, we've got a growing community. Um, come play, come join in. And the only rule is you've got to be kind. No meanness, please. What else is possible when we're all choosing to be kind and caring and uh, have no judgment of ourselves or others? All right, guys, I adore you all. And how much fun can we have? See you later. Bye.